Oh, Hannah Fleming, she's had a bit of a sighter with her first stone and got very close. And two ends played here, it's Czech Republic 1, Scotland 0. Really great for them to score two here in the second end. Yeah, I think this would be a really... I know that you think the first end doesn't count, so... <laughs> great shot here by Hannah Fleming, and it will be two yellows in the third end. Scotland take the lead. Here we have Iveta Yanatova. Needs to find fully the four foot circle to score here in the fourth end for the Czech Republic. And will they get it there? Will they get it there? Maybe just. Then it will be Czech two. Scotland two after four ends. Oh, oh, Hannah Fleming yeah, 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 yeah. going for the double. High, 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 high. And just lost it on the sweeping there. Six ends played. And it's Scotland three, Czech Republic two. Iveta Yanatova, final stone of the seventh end. She needs to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hit this yellow on oh. the nose. A great shot by Yanatova. Well, score one. So it looks like Hannah Fleming going to try and play a tricky shot here to score two in the ninth. It will be Hannah Fleming with her final stone of the ninth end. And it must be pretty close up, down in the brushes. It must be really close here. Oh, super shot by Hannah Fleming. The shot of the game so far. And it will be a two for Scotland in the ninth end. So Iveta Yanatova, final stone of regulation time in the gold medal game. And it's a takeout for two to tie the game up. And how is it? Fine. Okay. Good shot by the Czech skip, nowhere but the nose. So cool under pressure. And some suspect tactics from the Scottish team there. With the lead stones. Really gift Czech Republic a two. And ten ends played here. It's Scotland five, Czech Republic five. Hannah Fleming, if she hits the nose or three quarter stone, it will be good enough for Scotland to take the gold. So Hannah Fleming for whoa, the gold whoa. medal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Great shot by Hannah Fleming. And Scotland will take the gold medal here in the set of Holland. World champion. How good does that sound? It sounds very good. Um, yeah, we played. It's what we've been working hard for all season and it's finally paid off. So I'm really chuffed. When did you believe that you were actually going to win that game? Uh, when my stone stopped uh, and my last shot. No, so just not the last second. What happened in the 10th end? Clearly they put you under pressure. How did you feel during the 10th end? Um, yeah, I felt fine. Just my f first over curled. Um, but we knew that uh, we always had a chance for an extra as long as we got one more out. And I did that with my second. So. And what was going through your head all the way through that? Awfully long 11th end. Um, well, just I knew that I was going to come down to the last one because they played really well. Um, and I wasn't enjoying my last shot very much, but I knew that I had to do it and it worked out in the end. And a word for your team. They're world champions too. How did they play? I couldn't have asked for more from them. They were great the whole, whole week. And in the final, they just didn't put foot wrong. So thanks to them. Susanna, it's not the gold, but it's the Czech Republic's first medal. How, how do you feel about that? I'm not so disappointed as I should be, because I'm so happy for Hannah. She played amazing stones, and uh, she was just great, and her team was uh, so friendly, and they were just... They were, the, get, the atmosphere between them was how to win. It was, I think, 
they won they, uh, they deserve to win so i'm not so disappointed and that's all and you played a, a really good end in the 10th to get the two to force the extra end what were you thinking in the 10th end i think we played everything we can uh and we didn't make a mistake there so we so we scored and that's we, what we needed <laughs> And the 11th end, what was going through your head in the extra end? I actually, I don't know. <laughs> uh, my my fourth player played amazing shot too uh, by the last by yeah. the last end by the last stone, and uh, Hanak must play uh, take out with roll, but she made it. So it was very hard for Hanak too. So I'm happy that she played it. And okay. what does this this medal mean for curling in the Czech Republic? something big <laughs> of course it must be something big for everybody because no one from the Czech Republic has a medal from final in in any in any competition so I think they must be proud of us <laughs> I hope so <laughs> I'm sure they'll be proud of you maybe just as well a way to deal with just take it a little bit easy and Brendan Botcher will make the hit for one in the first end. Yeah, so although the Canadians do look pretty composed out there, I'm sure there's even a little bit of nerves for them. They are the huge favourites here, and Canada, after the first end, are leading by one shot to nil. So just bringing the weight down a little bit from normal takeout weight certainly quite a positive weight they've sent down here gets through the port and a great shot here by the Swedish skip continuing to play some unbelievable takeouts this week and keep Sweden level pegging with Canada Not often you hear People shouting please down the ice when uh, when they're calling the sweeping. Brendan Botcher will find the four foot. And it's two reds here. Canada. Out of the blocks fast. Three ends played. And it's Canada three. Sweden one. Scotland by three shots to one after four ends in the bronze game. Okay, one three. Great draw by Rasmus Frono on and Canada three, Sweden two. Yep. No. Yep. 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 Oh, and that's a phenomenal shot by Brendan Botcher. Gets the roll absolutely perfect. It's Canada five, Sweden two. It's really tight to the top guard. Vanta. Needs to curl oh. to get to the nose. Yeah, good enough for one here. Nice draw by Rasmus Vrano. It's just a stupid spot there. Ideally right in front of that redstone just tapped by Brendan Miles away. How's the weight here? Oh, and a super tap up. Great shot by Frodo. So Brendan Botch, her final stone yep. of the yep. seventh end. Yep. Yep. And it could be a game winner. Yep. Must be pretty good. Come on. Yeah. Well, great shot by Brendan Botcher. Only five though, as the shooter rolls out. Only five, Logan, <laughs> really? <laughs> Just rolls too far to be a six. And that has to be game over. Canadians went absolutely bananas. It will be Canada who are the World Junior Men's Champions. Fantastic performance by Team Botcher. World Champion, congratulations. How does it feel? 
feels just amazing. I mean, uh, we've been curling all our lives for a chance at something like this, and it's amazing to have gotten here and amazing to win it. Okay. So it looked as though you were in control for, for you know, from the, from the off. Does that how it felt to you? Yeah, well, I felt we had them a little bit. I think we were outplaying them just a little bit, but uh, we were ahead on the scoreboard, and then in the seventh end, we we got it done, so that was good. Yeah. Well, tell us a bit more about the seventh end. It's not often you score five in a world final. No, uh, my team set it up great. He didn't have a whole lot, and he was just a hair heavy on his last one, I think, and left me left me a shot, and I was fortunate enough to make it. Okay, so, I mean, you had the whole eighth end where everyone knew what what the result was going to be. How, what was going through your head in the eighth end? I was just trying to stay calm and trying not to get excited yet because obviously we had to wait until they shook. But once they threw it through, I knew we had it, and that was pretty exciting. I mean, how are you feeling at the game? Um, well, we were focused on getting a medal uh, at the first time. and But it would be nice to get a gold medal, but we're happy with just getting a medal. We have achieved our goal for the tournament. So... And the last end there, I mean, can you give us the movie for you in your head of the last end? <laughs> oh, um, uh, do you mean the last, last end or? No, sorry, <laughs> the seventh end. Okay, the seventh. <laughs> um, well, uh, we got some chances, but we didn't really take them until my last shot. Uh, but their skip played very well this match, so he nailed it and yeah, GG.